Hi, friends. Man, I almost said welcome to 30 Inks because I am in the middle of filming those, right? But I got a package. So, um, I'm excited. Basically, there is a website that I sort of spawn camp and I'm like always looking to see what new goodies they get and they got something I was very excited about. Um, something I've been eyeing for a little while and like thinking, you know, there's no hurry. It's going to be available, blah, blah, blah. And I'm glad I waited because it proved true. Um, so the site, I almost don't want to tell y'all because like, you know, but that's mean. The site is Peyton Street Pens. Um, I love them. Love, love, love. They also, let's see what I get. Is this a sticker? Oh, a sticker! I'm very excited about sticker. Um, and I got two things. So, one is this, and one's in here. Which is nice. It looks like they have their own little boxes. Um, so... I'm not gonna ink these right away. I will dip test them. I was looking for my bottle of Lamy Blue, which actually would have been really appropriate because these are both Lamy pens, but I couldn't find it in the, you know, 30 seconds that I spent. So I got my bottle of Earl Grey because it's an ink I know really well. I'm very excited. So this one is a Lamy Studio. Oh, I'm happy. And this is the color, is it aquamarine? Yeah, aquamarine. And it has a fine nib, which obviously I will be replacing. And I think I'm probably going to buy the grip that's uh, black and squishy, but we'll see. I'll see how I like this. I like that it's cool. I have long loved the design of this studio. I love this clip. And I thought I would end up with the Imperial Blue one because it's blue and I love it. And then when I saw Peyton Street Pens got a bunch of Lamy Studio uh, roller balls in or ball points, and I was tempted, it was sorely tempted by even that one. Hey, look, with the cap on, the logo goes the right way. I was tempted, but I was like, no, Maria, no. And then they put up a bunch of the fountain pens and I was super stoked. So let us find a page on which to dip test our new pen. I have so many pages here. I have some extra Lamy nibs already. And I think what I might do is a uh, medium. I didn't, I don't know that I had a fine though. So that's nice. I'm going to stick my head down to the side. And then. Plan operation. Did you even get ink on you? Not really. I see ink. Okay. New pin day. Mommy Studio. Aquamarine. Fine nib. Diamine Earl Gray. The 
it's got some not so good feelings going this way. Maybe it's all right. Maybe it depends on the rotation of the nib. But very, very exciting. Came with a converter. It looks like uh, they tested it, which is I appreciate. Um, and what I'm gonna do is fill it with water so that I can just wash the ink out of this. And I don't know, I will probably be inking this with an ink in this color family because I love this color family. But for a fine nib, it writes really nicely. You know, not my preferred size, obviously, but when you find a limited edition that is no longer made, you take the nib you get, <laughs> especially when it's easily replaceable. Let me restate, only when it's easily replaceable. And when close enough might be good enough. Uh, very thrilled. So size comparisons, it's this size. <laughs> there it is in a week's. Here it is with the random Sailor Hikoro. What else do we have? A rickshaw that size. Here I have a Twisby. I actually have a ton of pins here. Here's a Twisby mini. I have a ton of pins. It's like three. Yeah. Here. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear. Uh, Carolina Pin Company, Charleston, and a Waltham Watts. And I don't ever post my pins. The cap, this one doesn't feel like it'll stay on very well. Um, it will post, it clicks on, because there's this lip here. And I guess it's okay, but I just really don't like the feeling. So if we take that off, and since I don't post any of my pins, I'm not going to post these for size comparisons. I don't even really post these unless I want to feel cute. So there it is. Most comparable to the Walltown Watts. But look at how chonky, girthy this Carolina Pen Company one is. Oh, you are nice. Mm -hmm, chonkers. Anyway, exciting, right? These are all almost out of ink, and I'm very thrilled about that, by the way. I went from having a ton of pins inked to not a ton of pins inked. Also, this is like one of my favorite pins. Of course it is. It's sleek. Cool. So, you're, you see it over here, and it's like I'm taunting both of us with it. Well, what is it? What could have tempted me? It's a very different pen. It's a Lamy Studio. <laughs> it's the same pen. <laughs> They're the same pen. So this is the Lamy Studio in piano black. And it has a medium 14 karat nib. And did I want the piano black? Was I planning to ever own piano black? No, but I do like black pens. I will ink this with a pink. Because <laughs> after 30 pinks, 30 days, of course I'm inking a bunch of pink inks. But yeah, I will I will ink this with a pink. Um, this also comes with a converter. This was listed as new in box, I think, or mint in box. Um, you know, I feel I feel kind of sad about that. 
sometimes. Like, who has these pins that they're not writing with? And if that's you and you have pins that you're not writing with, I'm not judging you. But it's just not how I approach my pins. Okay, it's not writing. I actually hear... things, but let's see. Dip it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Let me studio, piano, Black, 14K, medium. This is a nice pin. I'm excited to have it. This was kind of on my list. The nib was at least on my list. And I got the pin with the nib for maybe about the price the nib usually goes for. It was a pretty good deal. So... I'm thrilled. Now let's force clean. Ooh, and then uh, the blue that they had tested with was still in there. Cause you know, Lamy does dip tests their pens. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe I'll put this nib on the uh, aquamarine one. Yeah, love it. Thrilled. Um, so far, I don't hate this metal section. Some of the first fountain pens I had were um, Kara's Customs, which are a metal section, and they're actually quite short. Um, my problem with them isn't usually slipping. It's usually that I have this death grip, white knuckles, you know, and I need to like chill out. Um, I don't stab the paper, but I just grab the pen as though it's trying to escape. Um, they're not escaping, Maria. So, new pens, hurrah! I know it's kind of funny to get new pins so close to the um, San Francisco pin show, but this nib was on my list for that show and I didn't get it. And I like the pin quite a lot, it's nice. And then here they are next to each other, they're the same. So I'm not doing another size comparison because they're the same. Um, here, if you wanna see them, here they are next to a pair of my eyeglasses that are actually made for kids and they glow in the dark. So I hope that helps you. Or a diamine ink bottle. Um, but anyway, <laughs> weirdo Maria, here's my new pin day. I don't usually get two at the same time, but again, you jump on it. And not that, you know, I, oh, this is a sticker too. I paid for these myself. They, you know, um, but I, I really do love paint and street pens. Um, I have one of their, uh, Ranga, uh, their Ebonite Ranga models, the Miwok 2. And I love it. So I recommend them. And uh, they're super nice people and have wonderful stuff. And I, did I order this yesterday? I think I ordered it two days ago. It's like this got to me in record time. Admittedly, I don't live far, but still. It was out and in the mail very quickly. <sighs> now, I'm going to have to think of what I'm inking in this friendo and figure out what pink I'm gonna put in that one. So look for it in a, uh, in a currently inked for October. Yeah, all right. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, bye.